Microscale chemistry, often referred to as small-scale chemistry in German, Chemie im Mikromastab, is an analytical method and also a teaching method widely used at school and at university levels, working with small quantities of chemical substances. While much of traditional chemistry teaching centers on multigram preparations, milligrams of substances are sufficient for microscale chemistry. In universities, modern and expensive lab glassware is used and modern methods for detection and characterization of the produced substances are very common. In schools and in many countries of the Southern Hemisphere, small-scale working takes place with low-cost and even no-cost material. There has always been a place for small-scale working in qualitative analysis, but the new developments can encompass much of chemistry a student is likely to meet. History There are two main strands of the modern approach. One is based on the idea that many of the experiments associated with general chemistry acids and bases, oxidation and reduction, electrochemistry, etc. can be carried out in equipment much simpler injection bottles, dropper bottles, syringes, wellplates, plastic pipettes and therefore cheaper than the traditional glassware in a laboratory, thus enabling the expansion of the laboratory experiences of students in large classes and to introduce Use laboratory work into institutions too poorly equipped for standard type work. Pioneering development in this area was carried out by Edgerton C. Gray, Mahmoud K. L. Marsafi in Egypt, Stephen Thompson in the U.S., and others. A further application of these ideas was the devising by Bradley of the Radmast kits in South Africa, designed to make effective chemical experiments possible in developing countries in schools that lack the technical services electricity, running water taken for granted in many places. The other strand is the introduction of this approach into synthetic work, mainly in organic chemistry. Here the crucial breakthrough was achieved by Mayo, Pike and Butcher and by Williamson who demonstrated that inexperienced students were able to carry out organic syntheses on a few tens of milligrams, a skill previously thought to require years of training and experience. These approaches were accompanied by the introduction of some specialized equipment, which was subsequently simplified by Brewer without great loss of versatility. There is a great deal of published material available to help in the introduction of such a scheme, providing advice on choice of equipment, techniques, and preparative experiments, and the flow of such material is continuing through a column in the Journal of Chemical Education called The Microscale Laboratory that has been running for many years. Scaling down experiments, when combined with modern projection technology, opened up the possibility of carrying out lecture demonstrations of the most hazardous kind in total safety. The approach has been adopted worldwide. It has become a major presence on the educational scene in the US, it is used to a lesser extent in the UK and it is used in many countries in institutions with staff who are enthusiastic about it. For example, in India, small-scale chemistry, microscale chemistry is now implemented in a few universities and colleges. Advantages Saves time for preparation and clear away Reduces waste at the source More safety Lower costs for chemical substances and equipment Smaller storage area Reduced reliance on intensive ventilation systems Pleasant working atmosphere Shorter reaction times More time for evaluation and communication Centers 
Austria Victor Obendraf China Zhou Ning Huai Egypt Mahmoud K. L. Marseille Germany Angela Kula Kreutzfeld, Peter Schwartz, Waltraud Haberlitz, Michael Tausch, John McCaskill Hong Kong Wing Hong Chan Israel Mordecai Livner Japan Kazuko Ogino Macedonia Metadija Najdoski Mexico Jorge Ibanez, Arturo Fregazo, Carmen Doria, Rosa Maria Mainero, Margarita Hernandez, et al. Poland Aleksander Kazubski, Dominika Panik, Lukasz Sporny, Piotr Roblewski Portugal M. Eliza Maia South Africa John Bradley Marie Dutoit Sweden Krista Groveberg USA 1 NMCC in USA 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 Kenneth M. Doc C. Thailand Superwon Tantyanon Kuwait Abdulaziz Al Najjar India Government. Victoria College, Palakkada, Kerala United Kingdom Bob Worley, CLEAPSS Conferences First International Symposium on Microscale Chemistry May 2000 at Universidad Iberoamericana, Ciudad de Mexico Second International Symposium on Microscale Chemistry 13.15. December 2001 at Hong Kong Baptist University, Hong Kong 2. Third International Symposium on Microscale Chemistry 18.20. May 2005 at Universidad Iberoamericana, Ciudad de Mexico. Three. Topic. See also. Microanalysis. Microreactor.